So you bought that little tool to take off the cassette on the rear wheel of your bicycle and then you start turning it with your wrench and you realize that, ah, this isn't going to work. I've got to hold that cassette in position. We're going to make our DIY chain whip with a 2x4 and some chain, this time on bike physics. That's about two and a half foot of two by four, two and a half foot of chain. And what I'm going to do is screw in three screws. Now I already have that position and it is offset. So I just take my little impact driver and a short screw with a Torx head on it, drive that thing right in. Do that with the second and the third just to make sure that it stays on. And this is the underside. So this is the piece that's going to be on the floor. And yes, if you noticed, that's not in the middle. It's a little offset to the, the outside. I'm going to stand on this thing with my right foot, and the wheel's going to be on the side toward me, so I've got to leave space for that. Here it is. Here's the actual operation. Take the chain, stand on the two before, wrap that chain around whichever sprocket you want. For some reason, I chose the big one on this one. And then take your tool, slide it in, Probably want to support the left hand side or have a tire on it because it, it yeah, it'll slip. But then just turn it a little bit. Should be loose. So you can finger loosen the nut and take off that chain, take off the various other pieces, and well, if you can. This one has been on there for a while and apparently it's a pretty tight fit. Maybe it rusted a little bit because I had a bang it off with the wrench. Gentle. Gentle. Always be gentle. And of course, right in the middle of the whole operation, baby girl's learning how to use the toilet properly and you got to reward her with some M&Ms. There you go, baby girl. Don't mind the grease. And if you want to put that cassette back on, it does go on just one way. Look at the slots. Line them up. There's one big wide slot and line it up, put it on, then put the other sprockets on, then finally put the nut on. And you don't need the chain whip for any of this operation because the freewheel mechanism holds it in place when you're tightening that thing up. Put all the pieces back on, put the nut back on. And when you're pulling on and off that quick release, make sure that you don't lose the spring and remember that the wide end of the coil goes outboard. Tighten that thing up hand tight with the tool and then turn it a little bit. There's probably some torque spec I'm supposed to know. Put that quick release back on properly with both of the springs. And then you can install the wheel. I don't change my cassettes that often. This isn't like a shop tool or anything like that. So it's fine the way it is. I've used it a bunch of times. Still runs great. Get to it. Two before and some chain. That's my DIY chain whip. Thanks for watching Bike Physics for all the bicycles, motorcycles, and family adventures. Your thumbs up really helps a lot in the ratings. So thanks for that too. And I've got new videos coming out most Tuesdays. Subscribe for more.